All right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. Today, we are going to revisit the Fly Swatter Challenge from dayattherange.com, Mr. Revolver Guy. And as you guys know, in the last video, our target stand was pretty shaky and uh, not the best results. We did pretty good, but we're going to give it another try today. So I've got a more rigid uh, stand made up there out of wood and some OSB, so uh, it ought to be a lot better. And if you guys haven't watched the first video, uh, check it out up here. I put a little card. But the target is this. It has 25 flies and five ciders at the top. You can take unlimited ciders and then one shot each for the 25. So today we'll be using the Ruger Precision Rimfire and we have a Cytron S-Tac 4 to 20 by 50 scope on it. It's a really nice setup. I really like it. And we'll be using some Ely Club. And I'm just about out of this. I had 29 rounds in this box and then I have one full box is all I have of this left. So Hopefully we can get by with four ciders and then we'll have 25 rounds for our target. So I'll give you guys a view through the spot and scope and let's get started. And there's a five minute time limit. Okay, there's our target. Got it pretty focused. I think we got some ants crawling on it. So maybe we'll get double points if we hit an ant. So let's see what we can do. Okay, let's walk down the target and see how we did. Maybe a walk down here to the 50 yard target and then we'll get it scored. I think I did a little bit better than last time. So I'll give you a quick view here and then we'll go get a marker and get it okay, scored. Okay, we are back in and we have the target scored. Last time on the shaky stand, we got nine confirmed kills and this time we have 13. So here is the target. Some of them were extremely close. Targets such as five, 21, 22, and 24. They were really close to tail. So I done kind of like what Kenny did and I took a 22 and I stuck in the hole. And that kind of gave us the 22 uh, caliber diameter hole. And that's how I determined those hits. Targets such as number two and 17 with the bullet in it, it was clear they did not touch. So it was definitely definitely an improvement using the more solid stand. The uh, Ruger Precision Rimfire is a, you know, a factory precision rifle. It's a decent rifle, but it's not a custom rifle. And uh, this Ely Club shoots pretty good in it. There may be another brand or flavor of ammo it likes better, but so far this is what it, it likes the best so far. So we've got one more box of it and we'll just save that for another day. But if anybody wants to give this challenge a try, 
go to dayattherange.com and you can download the target and give it a try. I don't know how long the little uh, bragging rights contest goes for, but uh, you can get it uploaded on the scoreboard and see how you do. I know there is one perfect target so far from uh, Kenny at Eagle Eye Shooting and congratulations to him. Pretty impressive shooting. So we got some extra targets printed off. We'll keep them in the filing cabinet, maybe here and there, get one out or if somebody's over visiting and want to shoot, we can see how good they shoot the flies. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Glad we took the, uh, the second chance on it on the solid stand and uh, a little better results. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.